guys so you may be wondering what on earth is going on here i know something well <laughs> quite a few things are missing from my background but today i have a bed sheet to talk about it is autumnal it is suitably spooky and i thought i would change my bed sheet with you today since i was going to be changing it anyway so usually i have a ton of stuff in the background I do get a lot of questions as to how i sleep on my bed um this is how i sleep on my bed um on a regular normal night um but when i am not sleeping underneath my bed i have four massive container boxes i have a stack of cushions over there um and i bring those all onto my bed so you don't normally see my bed covers but these are my go to bed covers so i got these last year i did used to have like black ones like um you can probably see underneath i have black sheets and i do still use my spooky box club pillow covers um but yeah i used to use black duvet covers but then i found this set from asda last year and i absolutely fell in love with it it's like still spooky but it's also like really comfy to sleep in i don't get hot in it etc etc so, so last year i did make a video on these gorgeous covers from asda and i did want to buy another set of them because i have to make sure that when these are going in the wash they will be ready for the next time i want to come and sleep in this bed so i was gonna buy another set but by the time i got round to it they'd gone like out of sale and it was like summer so they didn't have anything very autumnal or kind of fitting for what i wanted so i've just been struggling by with this one duvet set i have so many duvet sets but i refuse to use any of them other than this one so the other day maury fox i will link her channel down in the description below she did a house tour and it was just so spooky and autumnal and she showed these bed sheets that she had and i thought that they were absolutely perfect so i jumped onto my laptop i had a little look on asda's website they did have them but i think they cost like three pound to ship and since we were going Going past an Asda like that afternoon I decided to call in and I found a set in store so I will leave the online link to these down below um, but just so you know they are still stocking them actually in the Asda stores so when I saw this set on Moira Fox's bed I thought yes this will be a good one to like swap in and out with my spooky cat one so to give you a close-up of the cat one I'm not sure um, if all of you have seen the video but I'll take you in a little bit closer to my bedding. So this is the current favourite, which I have. There's little cats on broomsticks. All the cats have witches hats. There's little dancing cats. And all across it are little stars and moons. And actually on the inside as well, there's just 101 stars. It is so, so gorgeous. These are like a cotton blend. I believe they're 50% cotton. Um, I think the rest is polyester. But you would definitely think that these are 100% cotton. Although they do not come with a 100% cotton price tag so I absolutely love this bed cover of course I'm a crazy cat lady of course I love witches hats of course I love broomsticks I'm not sure how well you can see the one on the broomstick there he is but when I saw the cover I'm about to show you it had so many elements of things I loved in it I felt like I would quite happily alternate between this one and my new one I would also like to say the one that I've actually got on my bed right now has pretty much been on my bed every single night this year kind of in and out of the wash um and it's held up really nicely there's no holes there's no frays there's no sign of wear at all the only thing is i've got a few little um hair dye spots on it and those just come out in the wash so that's fine this has been amazing i absolutely loved it i had never bought bedding before from asda i did used to buy it from more expensive like homeware stores um and i'd be easily spending like 40 50 pounds for a nice like bed duvet cover but obviously they weren't that nice since i have been obsessed with this asda one so now to get into the good stuff this is the new set which i got i did <laughs> when i got it i was like i'm not gonna open it up i'm gonna keep it nice and pristine so i can show you what it looked like on camera and then i was like oh i'll just open it up and have a look at like the pillowcases and then i tried to get it back in and it all ripped and just believe me this came really nice and folded um and <sighs> when i opened it up it was just as magical and autumnal as i had hoped so this is kind of how it will look if it was sort of laid out on the floor and taken a photo of from above um but it has loads of different like features to it 
I think it's going to be a case of me putting it on my bed and showing you all but, th but this is kind of like a nature themed one there's lots of like animals in there there's kind of plant samples um, of course there's some toadstools and the absolute selling point for me is there are some pumpkins um, and on the inside like I showed you with the cat one I have on the inside it's starry on the inside of this one it's like autumn leaves and pine cones so I'm super super excited this is kind of what you can see from the little snippet there are some leaves there's a cute little mouse an autumn leaf and a robin so super super autumnal it's given me major autumn feelings there's also a little hedgy hog on the side as well so i'm gonna go put this on now again it's in the exact same style it's even to the fact that it is like kind of mainly white um and then it's got the details on the top you may be wondering why i didn't want it with black um i'm sure i would have bought it if it was black but i do think that since my room is so so dark the only kind of color in my room is like the orange of pumpkins and the white of ghosts um it is nice to have something slightly lighter on my bed but of course i still want it to be spooky i still want it to be autumnal um, um, so this definitely kind of fits all of my criteria. The lovely thing about all of Asda's bedding is it does come in all sizes so you can get it in single, double, king size. I got mine in a double, got this one in a double as well and it was true to size. It fitted my bed really nicely. It does come with like a whole set so you do get the duvet cover and the pillowcases as well. You don't get a sheet for the bed um, but I'm pretty sure there aren't very many sets that come with a sheet for the bed anyway um, but it's all kind of folded up and wrapped up nicely until I got my hands on it and ruined the packaging but this is basically how the packaging looked it's from the George section of Asda so that's kind of their homeware bit it says that it is an easy care one um, I literally just shove this current one in the wash. I don't do anything special with it. Um, I sometimes iron it. It depends how much of a rush I am to put it back on. If you can hear some knocking, my dad is cleaning the window, so just ignore that. So at the bottom, it says that this one is 48% cotton. So I was pretty much right with the 50-50 thing. Um, it explains that it has a popper fastening at the bottom. Does he have to be so noisy? And again, I've had no issues with the poppers coming undone or falling off or anything like that. So now let's get into the actual thing. I've absolutely ruined the case that it's come in, but we do not mind. So here is the duvet set and it's got the cushions on the inside. I did take out the cushions to look at them and I just... <sighs> They are so autumnal there's little animals on there there's little pumpkins on there there's also like randomly some crafty stuff on there so there's like some scissors um look there's some toadstools in a bell jar oh over here there's like a reel of cotton it just had so many there's another reel of cotton here that had so many elements to it which i just really really liked and of course they have pumpkins so I'm gonna love it um, and then this is what the other side looks like we've got leaves we've got acorns um, I'm sure there's a pine cone yeah there's a pine cone there that's kind of how the print looks as you can see it's quite an intense print it's slightly more kind of compact than this cat one that I have on my bed at the moment so I think it's gonna look a little bit more busy but I don't really mind I don't mind things being busy and cluttered as you know so I'm gonna take these off now I quite recently washed the spooky box club ones and put a new sheet on my bed and things but I was holding up on this duvet set just because as soon as I saw Maury Fox's video where she had this in it I knew I was gonna be buying it soon um so I'm gonna change those over now and you'll be able to see the finished effect a little bit hot after doing that but it is done and I am so so pleased with it I definitely think just like looking at my little camera thing that it looks really really autumnal like all of the colors I love the kind of little browns and orangey colors in there obviously some of them are from the animals but I really really like it 
definitely I can feel the difference now of putting a new one on. It doesn't feel quite as soft as my old one, but I do feel like that is the exact same case for any fabric. The more it's used and worn and loved, it becomes softer. It definitely doesn't feel scratchy, like don't get me wrong, it still feels really nice, um, but it doesn't feel quite as soft as the other one. But I'm sure once it's had a little bit of sleeping in um, and it's been washed and stuff, they'll probably feel exactly the same. So I'm super, super pleased with it. Um, it fits really nicely as I hoped it would. Um, and it went on really easily. All the poppers and stuff were perfect. As for actually being in bed, it feels really nice. When I look down, I feel like I am queen of the forest just because of the gorgeous illustrations on here. So probably I should show you the illustration slightly closer before I start harping on about being queen of the forest. On here, there's loads of little creatures. Um, um, there is a tiny little hedgehog, there's a pumpkin with little vines coming off, got some like autumn leaves, um, a moth, some little toadstools, um, there's also the toadstools in the bell jar over here. We've got foxes on here, um, there's some like little bunnies and squirrels and bugs and beetles, so I'm just gonna get my camera off the tripod and take some close-up pictures for you because every time you look at it it's kind of one of those things where the more you look at it the more you see I've just noticed there's a tiny little snail on here it's just so so pretty it's almost like a watercolory effect so yeah I'm gonna take my camera off the tripod and take you in a little bit closer absolutely like covered in gorgeous like autumnal animals and creatures and bits of nature I think it is so so gorgeous and it's really really unique like I haven't seen any bed sheets like this but saying that I'm not really big on the bed sheet scene I'm not really sure if there have been other ones of this kind of style and theme but it's the first one that's kind of screamed autumn at me as I said it kind of reminds me of like the forest it it has a very kind of magical feel and then it has the added pumpkin to make it spooky. So as I said, I give full credit to Mori Fox for finding this autumnal duvet cover. Probably the closest in the UK to a Halloween duvet cover that we're probably going to get probably second to the witchy cat one that we got. But they do have some like dancing like Mexican skeletons um, and like space cats and things like that which aren't particularly my taste but there are some other ones which could potentially fit within the spooky or halloween genre but for 12 pounds i thought this was so so gorgeous and these are definitely a great investment because unlike snow globes where i buy them and they sit on my shelves and i look at them and think they're pretty i don't really use them whereas at least with bedding i am investing in something which is going to last me for a long time saying that though i now need to make my bed and put the cushions on because i have bought a snow globe and i need to make a video about it <laughs> as i said i will leave links down in the description to the duvet that's on the asda site this double one cost me 12 pounds but i'm assuming that the single one will be slightly cheaper and the king size one will be slightly more expensive but still i think anywhere around the 12 pound mark is a really reasonable price for this duvet set the quality of it and just the amazing print i think it is gorgeous i did consider maybe buying a second one of these to actually use for like halloween fabric or like autumnal fabric so we'll see if i go back and buy another one so yes links down below to the duvet and also i'll leave a link to maury fox's channel and her video where she does her house tour and she shows this gorgeous bed sheet on her bed so thank you very very much for watching if you do have any questions comments please leave them down below if it's sunny where you are i hope you enjoy the shade and i'll see you next time bye